What can I do, right? All right, welcome to Centering and Strengthening. Let's take our feet out to the shoulder width position, slightly turned out and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down, last time up and down. And we go side to side right here. Keeping your shoulders down, your head over your tailbone. You have that alignment, your shoulder hip. Eight more, eight, seven. We're just warming up the body. Five, four, three, two. Let's take a re lift, lift, lift. You've got it, lift, lift. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step left, knee right. Good, you've got it, go. Perfect, push it through. Nice, we've got four more. We're gonna hold it on the last one. Three, two, and then here comes our quad stretch. One, bring it behind, lift it up, get a nice long stretch in your quad. Make sure you drop those shoulder blades. Don't let it tilt forward. You wanna reach by behind your ear a little bit. All right, right foot, left knee, take it up and back. Step, good, nice. You have five more, five and four, three more and two, and last one, take it behind, lift it up, pull your belly button to your spine, take that knee as close to your other knee as possible, and let's step it back to wide leg, go to heel, to heel. We don't go past the knee or the hip. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We hold it over here on one, sit behind that knee, swing those arms out to airplane, Rotate over to the right side, reaching down with your chest, pushing back with your glute, rotating so that you are looking toward your hand. Nice deep breath. Come back to airplane. Go over to the other side. Nice big hold, big push through. Nice, you've got it. Looking upward, come back to the center. Hands come down. You, you invert, getting your stretch. Leg, then heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Curl yourself up and then it's side to side. There we go. Nice. You've got it. Push. Good. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Then we go into the rotation and we lift and lift. Make sure the whole upper body gets rotated at the hips right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one to the center, soften your knees, roll the shoulders back for four. And roll it forward for four. One, two, three, and four. We take the hand around and open up the chest. And breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up and down. Last time up and down. I'm going to suggest you take your light weights and you place them over here, and we'll use them later. We're gonna start with legs that are open, a little wider than the shoulders. You're gonna reach down and sit back into that side lunge squat and lift it up. And we're gonna do 20 of those, then we're gonna keep adding on. So let's just hang in there. So down and one, down and two, three, so no weights here. Four, we'll get to the weights later. Five, and we'll pulse at the bottom. Six, nice. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, 10 more, good, good. 10 and nine, and I have to remember everything so I do it correctly on both sides. Good, six, good job. Five, as we come up, we drop the shoulder blades, we skip that head over your tailbone. Two, let's pulse it down there, let's go 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, this leg is long, 10, don't go past your hip, eight, you're pushing back, not to the side, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it up. Now we're adding on. So now we push, lift, lunge and up. So let me just take you through this a little push, lift. Now watch the front leg pivot down and up, back to center. 
All right, let's do 20 of those. So let's call this three, down, four, down, and five. Now, if this is hard on you, six, keep going, down, just step forward and do the dips, okay? Down, nine, down, 10, down, 10, and we're gonna pulse in the front, down, and that lunge, nine, down, eight, down, seven, down, six, sit back there, don't just nod to it, five, good, really push it back, four, good job, you wanna get that glute work, three, nice, two, good, now here's one, and we pulse it down, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we come to the side. It's a three count with a one. So it's one, two, three, up, and one. Back. One, two, three, up and two, nice job. One, two, three, up and three. You got it. One, two, three, up and four. Perfect. One, two, three, up and five. Going for 20. One, two, three, up and six. Good job. One, two, three, up and seven. You've got it. One, two, three, up and eight. Perfect. One, two, three, up and nine. Good. One, two, three, up and 10 to go. You're halfway there. So you're trying to keep your leg, your knee coming down and 10. One, two, three, up, knee as far down as you can get, nine. One, two, three, up and eight. Good. One, two, three, up and seven. Perfect. One, two, three, up and six. You got it. One, two, three, up and five. Good. One, two, three, up and four. Keep yourself lifted. One, two, three, up and three, nice. One, two, three, up and two, keep going. One, two, three, up and one. You're gonna hold it here, grab those weights. Woo -hoo. Do it a little better than that. Right here, you're bringing the weights to the side of the chest, taking it down. One, two, row back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Okay, holding on to those weights. So you take a one, bring it around, one, two, push, three, and back. Two, up, one, two, three, and two, push, nice, row, row, lift, and center, four, back, row, row, lift, and five, over, nice, lunge it, row, row, lift, good, six, nice, lunge it, row, row, lift, seven, over, lunge it, row, row, lift, good, over, nice, lunge it, row, row, lift, good, over, yes, lunge it, row, row, lift, nice, over, lunge it, row, row, lift, nine descending, over, lunge it, row, row, lift, 
eight, over, lunge it, row, row, seven, good, over, lunge it, row, row, six, nice, lunge it, good job, row, row, five, nice, lunge it, good, row, row, four, good, lunge it, row, row, three, nice, got it, row, row, two, you got it, over, and row, row, one, bring those legs together and shake them out, we're going to do that on the other side, so you place your weights over here, get yourself back into that wide position, and we're going to do 20 singles, let's take it down and up, so in this current position, you're creating your frame for your side lunges, right? So we don't go past the hip. We push into the glute. We wanna make sure that we exhale down and inhale up. Good, keep going. Nice. 10 more. 10, nine, good. Eight, seven, good job. Six, perfect. Five, four, we're gonna pulse at the bottom. Three, two, here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. And now the single side rear lunge front lunge dip, so over and up, down and one, over and up, down and two, and this will have a front pulse, this will be your pulse, three, over and up, down and four, over and up, down and five, over and up, down and six, over and up, down seven, over and up, down eight, nice, nine, nice, 10, nice, 10, good, nine, perfect, eight, beautiful, seven, good, over, six, you got it, over, five, good work, four, keep yourself lifted, three, nice job, and two, and again, if this pivot is hard on you, just turn and do the lunge without doing the turn, here we go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. Last one and take it over. All right. So three over, one over here. So one, two, three, lift and lunge and up. One, two, three, lift. That's two. Good job. One, two, three, lift, that's three. Nice. One, two, three, lift, that's four. You've got it. One, two, three, lift, that's five. Good job. One, two, three, lift, that's six. Beautiful. One, two, three, lift, that's seven. You've got it. One, two, three, lift that eight, lift up, one, two, three, really push back, try to find new distances every time, good, and we've got 10 descending, let's go, one, two, three, lift, and 10, and up, one, two, three, lift, and nine, and up, one, two, three, lift, and eight, good job, one, two, three, lift, and seven, 
One, two, three, lift and six. Yes, one, two, three, lift and five. You've got it. One, two, three, lift and four. Good. One, two, three, lift and three. Good. One, two, three, lift and two. Keep going. One, two, three, lift and hold it here on one. Grab your weight, stay here, pulse down, row back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Now it's one, one, two, three, and we do the one, two, push, right? Okay, over, up, one, two, three, and center. Over, up, one, two, three, oh, three, and two. Over, up, back, back, up, and three. Over, up, back, back, up, four. Over, up, back, back, up, five. Up, <clears throat> back, back, up, six. Over, up, make sure you do that lunge. Don't forget about it, even though you're doing arm work. Good, up. One, two, three, that's nine. Over, up, one, two, three, that's 10. Over, up, one, two, three, that's 10 descending. Over, up, one, two, three, that's nine. Over, up, one, two, three, that's eight. Over, up, one, two, three, that's seven. Over, up, one, two, three, that's six. Over, up. One, two, three, that's five. Over, up. One, two, three, that's four. Over, up. One, two, three, that's three. Over, up. One, two, three, that's two. Over, up. One, two, three, that's one, and let's bring it together. Take your legs out. If you don't have your light weight, hands are what you're gonna need it for this next part. So a little bit of a light weight. Dagger your legs, take a nice deep breath. Drop your shoulder blades, head over tailbone, arms out to the side. Lifted bicep curls, in and one. In and two, three, good. Four, take it all the way out. But don't bring it all the way this shoulder. You don't want to release. Six and seven, eight. I'm bringing it to exhale. Out, nine, 10 more. One, good. Two, good job. Three, th three quarters of the way in. Four, so you just go past your elbow. Keep your wrist long. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and 20. All right, change legs. Now on this one, we're gonna stay down here with an outward uh, bicep curl, and we're going to alternate arms. All right, so it's one, good, and two, two. We're gonna do a long bicep set today. And three, so even if you're not feeling it yet, you will feel it four. That's why I directed you to lighter weights, five. Good. Six, nice. Seven, and we're gonna go back up after this set. It's just relaxing your shoulders for a while. Eight, make sure you uncurl all the way. Nine, but you don't take it all the way to the shoulder because you don't wanna lose your elbow into your waist, yeah? So then that elbow into your waist, 10 descending, nine, good. Now we have the staggered leg to protect our back, but don't put all your weight on the back leg, right? Seven, so you have to stay centered, six, good, five, I know the temptation is four, good, 
two, rock back, three, that's not gonna help your back, which is why we're in this position, two, nice, and one. The other option is to have your legs together and have them bent, so you can be here if you want to, but I have a, I have a good intel that people um, eventually straighten out their legs. Okay, arms out to the side. Now we just go to the 90 degree angle and one. 90 degree angle and two. So we're not going toward the bicep. We're going just toward the head. Four, five, six. Good job. Seven, make sure you roll it all the way out. Eight, nine. Good job. 10 more, 10 descending, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, is your belly button to your spine protecting your back, four, and three, in order to keep myself centered, I keep myself two on that toe and hold it in on one, the back toe. Now hold it here, bring it in and one. Now we're getting the rear deltoid, two, three, four. So you wanna keep them lifted, keep going five, and you bring them in on the same plane, six, so the hand doesn't lead or the elbow doesn't lead, seven, eight, you got it, nine, 10 more. 10, we hardly ever focus on the bicep, nine, because it's one of those eight, once it gets worked out, no matter what we're doing, seven, because we're always holding the weight, six. So I don't dedicate a lot of time to it because it gets a lot of exercise, five, four, but it's worth isolating, three, two, and one, and lower them down. Take it out to the side, same thing, just to the halfway point and one. Now we're doing them together, two. Did you switch feet? Three, four, good job. Again, you can be back on that ball of that foot in the back. Eight, good job. Nine, 10 more, 10, you got it. Nine, good. Eight, right to the center. Seven, right across from your waist. Six. Good job. Five, four, nice. Three, perfect. Two, hold it here on one, push it out. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, whew, seven, six, five, four. Is it getting heavy yet? Three, two and one, lower it down, switch sides. Now, if your neck starts to hurt, that's because you're pushing it forward or holding it. So you wanna relax your shoulder blades down and get your head over your tailbone. All right, right here, we're bringing it in, lift, down and one. So this is shoulder and tricep, two, in, lift, down and three, in, lift, down and four. So at this point in lift, you can be fatigued enough, five, in to do it without weights, and six, in lift, out and seven, in lift, out and eight, in lift. So on this one and nine, you're getting a little bit at the top of your pec, 10, 10 descending, in lift, down and 10, in lift. Can you feel that? Nine in, so there's a whole bunch of um, uh, eight, there's a whole bunch of rear deltoid, there's side deltoid and top of the chest along with the bicep. Lift, take it out, in, lift, down and five, in, lift, down and four, in, lift, down and three, in, lift, down and two, in, lift, down, and one, bring it down, switch sides. We're at the side now. So you're turned out, you're taking it to the center, pushing it out and in and one. Up, out, in and two. Up, out, in and three. Up, out, in and four. Up, out, in and five. Up, out. So your shoulders are getting some extra work today, six. Up, so what we get, in and seven is great framework. In and nine, up, out, in and 10. Up, 
out, in, and 10, up, out, in, and nine, up, out, in, and eight, up, out, in, and seven, up, out, in, and six, up, out, in, and five. You got four more. And three, make sure you unroll it all the way. Two, and one. And last one to the top. Let's go. So out, in, up, and down. So we're right here. In, lift, down, and one. In, lift, down, and two. In, lift, down, and three. Again, in, lift. You can let go of the weights if you need to. They're fatigued. The muscles are fatigued. They're not five. In, lift, down, and six. In, because what I really care about, seven, is your form being appropriate for a non-injury. All right, 10. We've got 10 descending. 10, and how's that neck? Again, are you forcing it forward? Nine, are you pushing it too far back? Are your shoulders up? So drop everything, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, nice job, three, two, and one. And last one at the bottom, switch feet. Come back on your other toe. So you're starting out here at the side and you're bringing in and one, in and two. So now the whole deltoid, three is rotating with this four and five, six, you've got it. Seven, eight, nice, nine, perfect. 10 more, good job, 10. Push it, nine, good job, eight, keep going, seven, six, and five, four, three, and two, and one. Take it out, lower the weights. Let's put them down for a second while we stretch that upper body. Whew, my hands got sweaty. Take the right leg back and small rolls in the shoulder. Two, four, four, three, and four. Now take it forward, small rolls. One, two, make sure the right leg is back. Three, and four. Now more of the, pull the uh, rhomboids into it. Three, and four, so more of that shoulder. Up, two, three, good, and four. Now use your elbow, one, good, two, nice, three, and four, forward, one, come on, open it, two, three, and four. Now pull that wrist down, take your head over to the side and get a nice stretch in the neck. Bring it back to center, take the hand beside, behind the tricep, press on the muscle, not the joint. Good, and then you're gonna take it across, pushing your bicep to your chest not pulling your rotator cuff out, pushing it to your chest. Rotate your hand in one direction and then the other, wiggle your fingers and let it float down. Good, other side, switch. All right, small roll. Two, three, and four. Now forward, one, good. Two, three, and four. More of the shoulder, one. You can try to take it up to the earlobe, two, and drop it down, three, and four, and reverse. One, two, come on, let's get that opening. Three and four, using your elbow. One, good. Oh, now we can feel the chest. We are going to do a chest opening. Opener in a second. Four and forward. One, two, three, and four. Now we pull it down, take the ear to the ceiling. Nice. Bring it back to center, behind the shoulder, press on the muscle, not the joint. Don't take it to the center of your back. Don't open up the elbow and then push on it. And then bring it across, stretch into the, into the um, chest muscle. Now we're gonna bring it around and open the chest up because we got a little bit of that top chest work in that last piece. So let's go down for the Pilates part of the class today. Yes, I'm putting the mat down so you can move your little buddy body. 
moving the buddy body out of the way, downward facing dog, and he's up. Thank you, buddy. <clears throat> All right, let's get down and let's make sure we're in Pilates position. So, you lift at the end of your mat, your feet are in front of your knees, head over tailbone, dog is looking your arm, and you start at the base of your back. You're pushing down and through the lumbar, vertebrae by vertebrae. Let me see your vertebrae. When you hit the middle of your back, I really want you to slow down and take it all the way down. Make sure the shoulder blades come before the shoulders, the shoulder before the head. Lift your glutes up, take it down the mat, wiggle your shoulders up, belly button to the spine. Big inhale up, push it down without pushing your lumbar in. So there's no tilt going on. While you do that, push the abs up and under the rib cage. And let's lock it right here. And then we've got a nice line running right through that uh, middle. Okay, for our warm up, we're actually going to do inner thigh work because I want you to do it. something we did uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I want you to, on the roller, I want you to do this because it really will um, work complementary to that open work that we did at the beginning of the class. You can have your head down or curled up for this one. So right leg to tabletop, left to table tabletop. Inhale, bottom chin up, exhale, curl up. Now remember that you have to be on the kickstand of your shoulder blades, right? If your head is back like this, you're in trouble. So legs are up. That means that your neck muscles will have um, too much load. So don't look at your feet, look between your thighs. So here's how this one works. We cross, 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 open. Cross, 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 open, go. So this is gonna be our warm up today. We usually use it as an exercise, but I wanted to do something that pulled at a different part of your body from the opening exercises, good. So we get an all around body workout, nice. Cross, 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 open. And you have figured out that you start the cross on a different side every time, right? So when the right leg comes over the left, you'll start at left leg over right, good. Open, cross, 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 open. Cross, 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 nice pointed legs, right? Cross, 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 you're getting a really big opening here. Cross, 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 open. Cross, 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 open. Cross, 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 open. 10 more. Cross, 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 nine. Good. Eight, keep lifting. Seven, nice. Six, five, nice. Notice how you hold that pause every time, four, good. Three, again, your head could be down here. Two, just keep going, cross, cross, and one, and bring those legs to tabletop. When your head's down, here's the difference that happens, is your back, your back is, uh, is in its natural sway, so it doesn't get any push down. You don't access, as much, I'm not gonna say it all, the abdominus rectus, right? So eventually we wanna get that um, ability to do the curl up if we don't have it. So we're gonna bring these legs in, driving them in one at a time, in and in and in. So we're working in the opposite direction from the cross, cross, cross open, right? Come on, bring it in, good. Eight more sets, eight, seven, six, five, four, good job, three, and two, and one, and just hug your knees and bring it all the way down. We're gonna start with a reverse tabletop. So walk your feet forward a little bit. Put your hands beside you and walk yourself up to the palms of your hands, right? Make sure your shoulder blades are away from your ears. But your hands are connected to your shoulders, so not way back here where your a rotator cuff is open. So we're going to lift up right here. And we're just going to hold this, keeping our head on our spine for 30 seconds. So just hold this, pulling that belly button in and actively lifting the glutes off the floor. So you have 20 more seconds. And hold it right here. Nice. Don't drop the head back. Don't push it forward. There's a neutral position for it. Right here, good. You have 10 more seconds. Keep it lifted. Nice. 
Last five. All right, we're going down. Down and one. Down and two. Down. So one of the things I want to have happen three is your elbows to bend four because that way you're getting your triceps along with this core work. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Good job. Nine. Ten more. Take it all the way up. Ten. Bend those elbows. Good. Nine. You got it. Eight. Push, push. Now, if you're feeling too much strain, seven, good. Six, good job. Five, you can always come down here for your triceps. Four, three, and two, and one. Okay, come all the way down. Everybody come all the way down. We're going to stretch back, and then we're going to go back to that reverse tabletop. I have a very itchy hand for some reason. Maybe the doggy need, does need to wipe it off. Okay, let's take it up. Same thing, bring yourself up. Now, we're gonna take one leg on top of the other. 30 second hold, pull it up. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Good, 10 more seconds. Last five. Lift up. It's harder to pull it all the way up, isn't it? Let's go down, one, down, two. Now, one of the things that I'm hoping that happens, three, is you're holding that center, four. So you're really tight, five, as you lower, six, but don't stiffen your body, seven. You want your muscles to be relaxed, eight. Good job, nine, 10 more. Let's go, 10. Bend those elbows, nine. Again, you can be down here, eight, seven. Good job, six, five, four, nice. Three, two, pull that belly in, and one, lower it down. And let's roll back and hug our knees. We have one more set to go where we put the other leg up onto the opposite knee. All right, and we'll hold that for 30 seconds, just like we're doing this. Okay, bring it out to the side. Whoo, doing a lot of work, good work today. Take it up, cross it. Here's your 30 seconds. Lift, lift. It's so easy to drop down, isn't it? Gravity kind of tries to win. Nice, perfect. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. Nice. Beautiful. Here we go. Down and one. Down and two. Bend the elbows. Three, four. Now, one of the things you don't want to do, five, is feel a huge separation from your shoulders to your elbows. So if you feel that rotator cuff popping too far or winging too much, eight, you want to go less far down. Seven, good. Six, five, four, good job. Three, oh wait, we have 10 more. 10, nine, I got that wrong. Eight, seven, nice. Six, five, good. Four, baby, too many. Three, two, all the way up and hold it there on one and bring yourself back and hug your knees. All right, that wasn't easy. Take your arms to cactus because what that does is it opens the chest and it opens all that stuff you just were using, the shoulder connection to the pec and the serratus interior. So there you go. All right, we're coming over onto our side. We're gonna do the traditional clamshell routine. We haven't done that in ages. So let's pike. So let's review our pike. Elbow back and glutes are back, right? You wanna make sure your shoulder and your elbow are aligned. You bring your knees up to your hips, to your hip line. And the knees go down, the feet go up, and you open and close. Two, here we go. Three, now one of the things I wanna make sure is that your hips are tucked under four. 
that you're aligned, five. So you might wanna check that, six. You could also put your hands in front, seven. Eight, make sure you do a very strong opening. 10, you wanna hold it up there every time. Do that pause, 10, good. Nine, squeeze that balloon. Eight, squeeze. Seven, nice. Six, five, four, good job. Don't fall into your shoulder. Three, two, lift, lift, and one. We add the extension. Up, extend, attach, that's one. Good, extend, attach, that's two. Up, extend, attach, that's three. Up, extend, attach, four. Good. Don't let the ankle turn, right? Even though you're trying to connect these parts, you need to do it with the foot parallel because if you turn your ankle, there's another part of your body that doesn't need to be messed with in those kinds of ways. Last 10. 10, hold it and close. Nine, hit that pause. Good job. Eight, nice. Seven, perfect. Six, five, good job. And four, you got it. And three, lift it, lift. And two, last one. And we're gonna hold those legs together. I want you to extend them to the front and bring them back. So I want you to keep that diagonal so the knee down, the feet up. Extend and one. So it's almost like your knees are down in the diagonal. Three, good, four, nice, five, reach six, seven. So this is, you can feel it's coming out from your back. Eight, nine, 10 more. Don't let them fall. 10, you want to feel up. You want to feel uh, action right here. Nine in your pocket where your sciatic nerve is. Eight, seven, we're strengthening that area. Six, five, four, good job. Three, two, and one, bring it back, leg behind the lower leg, top leg behind the lower leg, make sure you're tucked under. We're gonna have soft knee in front, we're lifting all the way to the knee and lower. Two, good. Three, see that pause? Four, you also get, you can really feel the transverse abdominal on this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, one, and we're gonna hold it at the top at the end and you'll see what's gonna go on there too. Three, four, five, six, we're, th we're lifting it, not throwing it, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Leave the leg up there, put the hand behind the head. We're gonna curl toward that knee and one, two, Three, keep that neck in position. Four, five, keep that leg lifted. It's gonna get tired. Six, seven, you get a nice back stretch. Eight, nine, 10 more, 10, nine, eight. Don't let it drop, mine is seven. Don't push into your elbow, lift, six, lift yourself up. Five, pull that belly button to the spine. Four, three, good, two, let's pulse it. I like pulsing, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, really feel the wrap. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take those legs forward. Nice job. Let's do some back stuff we haven't done for a minute. All right, sawing. We're gonna saw off our little toes. Walk your sit bones back. Open your legs to shoulder width apart. So shoulders should track to toes, right? So not out here, not out that way, in the shoulder, inside the shoulder, right? Flexed feet on your sit bones, head over tailbone. Let's remind ourselves of this action. You take it over, you lower down, you saw twice, you bring it up, it goes back to center. Take it over, lower down, 
I take this into much more different articulations than some teachers who push through all of these lifts. I like to stop at every part, down, saw, lift, and across, because it makes us get to know the exercise intimately. Lift and across, down, saw, lift, across. So rather than speeding through it, which I and I speak through a lot of things. I do like to articulate through this. Lift and open, down, good. Lift and open. Don't forget to do the two saws. One, two, lift and open, down, lower. One, two, lift and open, over, lower. One, two, lift and open, over, lower. One, two, lift and open, over, lower, 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 one, two, we have four more, over, lower, one, two, lift and open, over, lower, one, two, lift, and three more. Good, I meant sets. <sighs> nice, over, lower, one, two, lift, good, over, lower, one, two, lift, and open. We're on our last two sets. Lift, and open, over, lower, one, two, lift, and open, over, lower, one, two, lift, and lower your shoulders down, roll your shoulders back, and bring your legs together. I want you to do a little bit of a forward fold right here, keeping the arms soft, drop the shoulder blades down, and just hinge from the hip. Curl yourself up. Let's do our pike on the other side. Let's review shoulder and elbow in alignment. Come back on the edge of the mat, glute back on the edge of the mat, knees up front, down, and we're gonna lift and lower. Make it sincere. Two, make sure those hips are tucked under. Three, four, good. Five, six, you got it. Seven, eight, nine, lift up out of your shoulders. Ten, one, really make it big. Make that pause at the top happen. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Let's take it with that extension. Up, extend, connect, and one. Open, extend, connect, and two. Open, extend, connect, and three. Open, extend, connect, and four. Good, you wanna feel that leg unroll, just like we unroll our backs, right? Keep going, unroll it, get it into that big pointed lengthened leg. Good, we have 10 more, nice, 10, nice, and nine, and push it up. And again, I, I hope that you're pausing at the top eight because that's gonna make the significance of that extension Seven more pronounced. Good. Six. Extend. Nice. Last five. Extend. Good. And four. Extend. Nice. And three. And two. Last one. And bring those legs together. Then extend and bend. Two. Three. Four, keep those legs tight. Five, you got it. Six, pointed. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, keep that diagonal. Eight, lift off your shoulders. Seven, or come all the way down. Six, it's a little harder to manage. Five, but you can do it. Four, three, two, and one. Leg behind. Lift all the way to the top, take it up and one. Lift and two, come on, get that hip under. Lift and three. Lift, knees to the front, four, five, 
Six, are you lifted off your shoulders? Seven, are you dropping into it? Eight, nine, 10 more. You're lifting it and holding it. 10 for a pause. Nine for the cause. Eight, good job. Seven, six, perfect. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up here, one arm behind the head. You didn't forget these, right? One, good. Two, roll around. Three, you can do this. Four, keep going. Five, strengthen. Six, seven, back to your position. Don't go behind it. Eight, nine, 10 more. Really feel that waist. 10, it's engaged. Nine, good. Eight, seven, you've got it. Six, perfect. Five, keep the both feet or that foot pointing. Four, three, we're going to pulse, of course. Two, here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's lie all the way down and hug our knees. Ooh, whoopee. Hug your knees, hug your knees, put your hands underneath them or below them, right here. Get a nice deep hug. Okay. Boy, oh boy, we're working it, aren't we? All right, not everybody will be able to do this last part. It's very short, but I'm going to uh, try to get us into the position and then I'll talk to people who can do it. Put your hands behind your head and curl up, right? Then extend your legs. All right, so now if you have back concerns, I'm gonna say extend one leg and keep the other one bent, right? So what we're gonna do, keeping that leg or keeping that upper body lifted, you don't move it, but you lift your legs one inch off the ground and hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one lower down. Keep yourself in your curl up. Now, if you had one leg bent, you're gonna switch and bend to the bend the other leg. Now we're gonna take it a little higher off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and lower, keeping the upper body curled up on your kickstand. All right, switch knees if you're protecting your back. Make sure your hands at the bottom of your head, not right here pushing your uh, neck into your chest. All right, it's above your chest. All right, a little bit higher. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower down without lowering your head. And the last one, Take it a little bit more. One, two, three, four. You're gonna hold it right there. Six, seven, eight. Release your arms. Reach, reach, reach. Pull that belly in. Come on. And then collapse all the way down. Nice job. Okay, let's stretch it out. We worked hard today. Or I worked hard today. I don't think I was the only one here though. Let's do it. Look at that. Heel on the opposite knee and drop it forward. Drop them together, keeping the shoulders and the shoulder blades down. You feel that amazing stretch in your hip right there. You can feel it in your pocket. Just breathe into it. And then bring it up and drop it to the other side, keeping that heel attached. Good. and bring it back to center. We're gonna do the other side. Heel on top, drop it away from you, away from the screen. So you get that hip stretch. I always need it right here because that's where my arthritis is, which I have been managing very well. And lift up and take it over to the other side. and bring it back to center. Let's take one leg up, rotate the ankle one direction and the other, walk up, walk up, walk up. Now we have to remember that we're also stretching for those opening exercises with all that hamstring work 
and all that side hip work. So let's really pull it in and we're gonna get some other stretches going here. So big inhale and exhale. You want your chest and thighs close to each other, but your legs should be straight because you're working that stretch behind your leg, right? Good job. Well, you have to keep breathing and pulling. So you wanna feel all the time that we're holding that's lifting out of the glute. Now put your hand on the outside of that leg, if you can reach it, and push down beside your hip, uh, beside what's this, your shoulder. <laughs> I guess I should know what my shoulder is, right? Just really push down. You're going to get the quad and then take it out to the side right here, and that's gonna get the inner thigh, right? Just point it. Try to keep that other hip down. Good. And then bring it back and sit it beside its buddy. Take the other one up, rotate the ankle one direction and the other, walk up, walk up, walk up. Big inhale and exhale. And we're trying to get all of that stretch happening. We're breathing, we're pulling, we're breathing. We're keeping the legs straight and pointed, but not hyperextended. And we're really pushing into it. Life is great. Nice. All right, lower your head and put that foot down into that half baby pose position. Happy baby, happy baby. And then extend that knee out to the side. There we go. And bring it back to center. We're gonna come on over onto our side and then onto our tabletop. So right here. Whew. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat and wiggle. And your, I want you to tick tock your hips and shoulders. Now bring it to close. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat and wiggle. Now we want to loosen up all that tight stuff from those reverse tabletops. And then back to neutral, drop into a downward facing dog. Oh, walk it in. Hang low. Curl yourself up. Ooh, we need washing machine today, right? Let's do it. Throw your arms. Keep your hips in place. Let your upper body just really swing around. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's breathe. Come to the center up and down, two more up and down. And last time, ah, thank you for coming to Centering and Strengthening. 